Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. This video is a sequel to the video "The Secret of Subnet Mask." In this video, I will talk about how a computer communicates locally and remotely. What different pieces of information and networking devices will be used to communicate in these two different situations? First, let's check what pieces of information a computer should have in order to communicate and function properly on a TCP/IP network. Using my Windows computer as an example. I start Windows command prompt. Type in ipconfig/o. Hit enter. We can see the IP configuration information for my computer, specifically my wireless adapter. Here is my computer's physical address or MAC address, a 48-bit long. Hexadecimal number. This is my computer's IP version four address and subnet mask. My network default gateway's IP address. Default gateway is the router assigned for delivering IP packets. My network DNS server's IP address addresses. DNS server is important, but today we only focus on four pieces of information: MAC address, IP address, subnet mask, and default gateways IP address. When does a computer need this information? Now let's take a look at this picture. Computer A wants to communicate with computer B, and meanwhile. It also wants to talk with computer C over the internet. First, computer A uses its subnet mask to find out the computer B is local and computer C is remote. I put the link of the secret of subnet mask below, just in case you want to know more about the secret of subnet mask. Once computer A knows the computer B is local, how does computer A communicate with computer B? In other words, how does computer A communicate locally? Here is the process. Step one: Computer A uses ARP to ask for computer B's MAC address. ARP is basically a program used by computer A to find computer B's MAC address based on computer B's IP address. I have a video about ARP. I put the link below just in case you want to know more about ARP. Step two: Computer B replies. With its MAC address. Step three, computer A then uses computer B's MAC address to make frames and communicate with computer B. All local communication between A and B would involve layer two device switch. Default gateway. Would not be used in this situation. Now let's see how differently computer A communicates with computer C, since computer C is on a different network. Here is the process. Step one: Computer A uses ARP, the same program, to ask for default gateway's MAC address based on. Default gateway's IP address. Step two: Default gateway replies to computer A with its MAC address. Step three: Then computer A sends its IP packets to the default gateway, which would deliver computer A's message 
IP packets to the remote computer C. In summary, subnet mask is used by a computer to determine the location of another destination computer. It will answer the question, is it on the same network or on a different network? MAC address is used for local communications while IP address is used for remote communications. A switch, a layer 2 device, is used for local communications and a default gateway, a layer 3 device, is used for remote communications. ARP program is used in both situations. I hope this video is helpful and thank you very much and see you next time.